So I'm supposed to be painting the bathroom, but I started with the door and then I thought maybe I should do the other side of the door too. So I did the other side of the door and then this half wall was painted black and I was like, that doesn't go anymore. And then I have this and I thought, oh, I'm going to paint, I'm going to put that here. I was originally going to go in the bathroom, but now I've decided to put it here. And because I only had one roll, I was only able to do this like tiny bit of it. And I ran out and I still need to do, <laughs> I think I'm going to go all the way across this archway. Then this morning I woke up and I was like, I'm going to paint the bathroom finally, which is what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, but then this wall looked a little too mucky. So it's looking a little mucky. So I decided to paint it in the pink that's supposed to also go in the bathroom, which is over there. And then I did the lower part of this wall that was black in this, it's called Wild Ginger. It's like a very, it's almost like a greenish goldish color. Um, and I'm loving it. So I'm just highly distracted right now, but um, we'll eventually get to the bathroom, I think. Okay, so I have finally made it to the bathroom. I have painted this wall here. <coughs> it's showing kind of orange on the um, camera because of this filter because I'm painting and I need a filter because wow. So it's like a coral kind of pink and then I have the uh, mustard color I crouch down the mustard color on the cabinets again and then this wall behind me is black obviously um this was the color I tried like an experimental kind of design on it when we first moved in hated it then painted it black and it's just never really felt um good in here so this is a very cheerful um color combination and I'm loving it so yeah, I have to paint. This is all black paint that I need to paint. These are the, all my color swatches 
from like weeks of trying to decide what color to do in here. Um, this is uh, this is definitely more pink than orange than what it's showing up as. Um, this is like a yellowish sort of, a greenish sort of yellow. It's called wild ginger. Yeah, and then I don't know what I'm gonna do on the door. And I'm thinking this hallway, because I come out here and that's where I finished painting that wall pink. But I'm kind of thinking this wall, this hallway, kind of needs some zhuzhing. Um, I don't know what is happening right now, but I am just like following the dopamine and I am all about the colors right now. So I'm like, uh, what color? It's like a blue. That's, that's the color that I need to finish this combination. Um, and bring it all together. It all started with the pea green in the in the kitchen and then the green on the door and then this hallway and now this bathroom and now I think that hallway and then eventually our bedroom. Um, but I think we need like a, not powder blue, I'll go find it. Okay, so this is the color that I used on the kitchen cabinets. This is the color combo that i've used in the hallway this is the front door i was trying to match my nail polish and this was as close as we could get so this is the hallway and like the little coffee station that i did today and then oh and that's also going to be in the bathroom so the door the inside i might do this just for some fun or i might keep it white and then I'm feeling like I need some blue in my life. And I'm not sure which blue. This is three that we've picked out that we kind of were drawn to. Um, but I'm just not sure what's gonna go best with a little color combo. Or if maybe I need a different one. these things look at the size of these hornets or wasps or whatever like what are you I want to put my hand near it so that it, you can see how big that is it's like almost the size of my thumb like what are you okay I gotta help him get out now okay I've let him I put him out I closed the screen <clears throat> oh my hair wow um i don't i've never seen these wasps before but they are ginormous and i'm the only one in my family who's like not terrified of them so they actually are quite docile like i just picked it up on a piece of paper and he just flew off outside uh but i've the size of them they're like prehistoric i don't know what they are so I've been making these short sort of reels um, for my little project of Summer of Small Delights. And I find myself kind of wanting to add a little bit more to them, but not have it be like a full 30 or 40 minute vlog. Um, so I don't know if it's a thing um, that people are doing, but I kind of want to do like a super casual, um, kind of sloppy sort of micro vlog and see how that works for me because right now I feel completely overwhelmed by the idea of doing a full vlog, but this feels very easy and I'm still just so, I want to make vlogs so badly, but at this point in life, it just feels like it's, I can't commit to a regular vlogging schedule. So that's kind of what I hope that I can do. I can maybe just show you snippets of my day um, as mundane as it is. I've been like hyper focused on painting all the things and like complete dopamine 
decor at this point for the last week but it's been kind of fun and I feel better than I have felt in a really long time and I feel kind of creative and I feel like I'm ready to just do something um, so I'm gonna try these little micro vlogs and see how that feels and just let them be imperfect and not worry about algorithms or hashtags or captions or followers or view hours or anything like that and just kind of show up all messy and um, yeah and see how that feels <laughs> just done okay. uh, I had just finished it and then she was like it's like an old lady bathroom but like in a good way okay so it has like I don't know it's like 80s I feel like this is my golden girls bathroom I think that's what the theme is and I'm gonna run with that so I'm gonna do some like tweaking um as I thrift and stuff uh but yeah I'm really happy with it I feel like it calls for like I need to switch out the garbage can to get like a rattan or um wicker and I feel, I feel like it needs like do you remember when you get color coordinated toilet paper I remember pink toilet paper and like like a floral padded seat or something um but yeah I'm really happy with it I think I'm just gonna keep tweaking keep thrifting and run with the 80s golden girl kind of sort of vibe um I got this, I love this. It was 50 cents um, at the thrift store. I got it on the weekend. Then I got this little, this huge conch shell for like four bucks. Um, all the thrifted art and seagrass and all of it. Um, yeah, I like it. I'm happy with it.